You see how much the mascots make a year? Yeah, it's a good paying job. I mean, you're a fucking professional mascot. Of course they're going to make good money. They make like, what, 70k a year, I think? Or at least Benny the Bull did? Probably more than that, actually. 400k? That's what Benny was making? Oh, that's what the... The Nuggets mascot makes 700k? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, holy shit. I had no idea. I remember it being like 70k or something like that. And I was like, damn, that's a really good deal because you only, like, you only work, what, two or three days out of the week? And then you have, like, a full off season as well? Like, it's a really good, it's a great gig. Average is 50k, Nuggets makes 600, and Benny makes 200. Bro, I don't even know who the fucking Nuggets mascot is. How is Benny making less than him? Benny goes so hard. This is Rocky the Mountain Lion? 750 an hour, holy shit. So does he do anything cool? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't even know Harry the Hawk. God, Benny the Bull's great. Fuck me. He's he's, he's the best. He still gets highlight compilations. I love that. We've decided as a little pick-me-up to share. Woo. He's fantastic oh. on the sideline. He's perfect. He doesn't get onto the court. Doesn't break any sort of rules. <laughs> like, he's actually he's super athletic, flip. too. His worm away, getting yeah. off the floor. This is after a big Etwan Moore game winner, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta warm it up. He's a great dancer. At uh, number four of our top five. Thanks for the reset. Who can forget Hero. this moment? And thank you for the raid. Trying to impress Jay Z and Diddy there by giving them a little Beyonce. Mm. And not really getting much from them. Uh, Jay wanted a crack. Uh, like, he's got a little crack. Yeah. Uh, he's got, uh, he didn't he's have any fun. Boo. Yeah, he's that good. Oh, look at it. He's got the moves. Got the sass. Uh, got the mischievous <laughs> look on his face. <laughs> At number three, Benny was on Jerry Springer. He stole the show. I just, I just want to, I just want to say, for some reason, most rappers take themselves way too fucking seriously. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Designer. I was watching an interview back when Designer was popping off. Like half of them just hate fun. Like they just don't have fun. They have like no fucking personality. Like, Zillikami's super good. Like, Zillikami, I think, is really entertaining. A good guy. Knows how to have fun. Young Gravy. Fucking awesome guy. Knows how to have fun. But the rest are, like, actual wet socks. Like, they, they have no fun. They, they have, like, no personality in these interviews. Like, what the fuck? Stop taking yourself so seriously. Like, this is Benny the goddamn bull. Look, everyone else around them is smiling. Just, ha just have a little fun. It's, it doesn't, it's not soft to have fun. Everyone has fun. Tyler, the creator's great. I love Tyler's interviews. Do you have a look on his face? <laughs> At number three, Benny was on Jerry Springer. He stole the show. Let's hope you didn't get anyone pregnant. Had been a couple for just over three years, but today could be a turning point in their relationship. Let's meet Alyssa and her boyfriend, Benny. It's just you're always so busy, and you have so many games, yeah, and appearances. I, you're just never around. I've been seeing somebody else. Well, well, let's meet the. It guy. better be the Nuggets. Oh uh, my! No! No! Not him! No. Anyone but him! Uh, no! God, that's so cute. Look at the size of oh, the Earl Boinkins and Yao Ming. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, See, I love Benny the Bull. Benny the Bull is great. Uh, we've had some personal moments with Benny the Bull. We once, uh, Tass and I hallucinated in a steam room. It's like Charles Barkley getting his bracelet in the yeah, steam room. Yeah. <laughs> and our spirit guide, Benny the Bull, showed up. He's so a prime frosty. This the was arena. weird. Yeah, this is, oh, this gets weirder. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. no. Hey, look, you don't sit in the steam room too long. <laughs> Thanks. Start to see things. Thanks to the bitch waiters. You just want to chase that furry red guy. What? Up and down. Watch this move. Yeah, this skills. is amazing. I know, he's so agile. This was not oh, yeah. scripted. It's made it happen. Well, we eventually caught up to him. And all was... <laughs> Benny the Bull used to go viral a lot yeah, back in the day. Awesome. I don't see him too much anymore and now, Trey, though. you yourself have had a run-in with Benny the Bull. He actually stole your baby. Yeah, not a lot of people know that Benny is actually my daughter's god mascot. Nice. <laughs> that is true. Nice touch. And at number one, Benny's popcorn antics. He that used so to be his big shtick, yeah. Well, 
He wants to cuss the balls too much in popcorn. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, could you stop tasting yeah. yeah. popcorn? Look <laughs> 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 that popcorn party. That. <laughs> that's one way to celebrate a birthday. Mm. Benny the ball. Like, I don't know. I, I think that's super fun. I'm a fan. I think he earns that paycheck like a motherfucker. I used to go to arena football games when I was a kid because I lived in Orlando. That's the only like sport we had that wasn't the Magic, and the Magic weren't amazing when I was growing up, at least not until they got Tracy McGrady. So I used to go to the Orlando Predators games. They didn't really have a mascot that I can rec- Well, actually, they did. But the mascot wasn't the one that got people hyped. It was the crowd that got people hyped. Because for some reason, the people that went to arena football games were like the most degenerate, rowdy rednecks of all time. They brought a fucking sex doll, like a like an actual group of sex dolls, and just tossed them around like beach balls. And my parents were fucking panicking because me and my friend kept trying to like grab them as they went overhead, not knowing what they were. Like, shit, we went so hard. How did you realize then? Because I'm older now. What like I? It's not that hard to immediately deduce that the naked women inflatables they were tossing around were sex dolls. But as a kid, you don't know that. It's like an action figure without its clothes on. I was literally like seven and eight, somewhere in that ballpark. I remember watching The Incredibles on the way over. I was I was an actual child. So you don't know what the fuck that is. God, that atmosphere is so fucking good, though. I miss it. I'm not a big sports guy anymore, but if things were like the Orlando Predators days, I'd probably go to more events. There used to be a regular that we see. He wasn't even like a super fan or anything. But my dad and, like, the people that used to sit behind us, because you had, like, assigned seats, and I'm pretty sure it was season ticket holders that were in that area. So the people that were behind us and my dad used to be friends, and they called him Drunk Skinny Guy, and it was just as the name advertised. It was a drunk, skinny man who would always just go fucking wild when nothing was happening. Like, he wasn't celebrating. He wasn't even... I don't even think he knew where he was. But this man would just go fucking ballistic. Drunk Skinny Guy place was amazing i still have all the old merch too i never got rid of it it's at my parents house have you seen the nuggets mascot passed out floating in the air no nah, i'll check it out though why not this is eight years ago <laughs> <laughs> this thumbnail is amazing. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh no! They they strung up. They strung up our boy. <laughs> oh unlucky! Activate his jet boosters. Get him out of there. What was the stunt? <laughs> what the fuck? What? And that's the highest paid mascot in the NBA. I guess all of it's for like insurance. Shake that. <laughs> I don't even know how it was supposed to go right. It's like SpongeBob in the movie, pretty much. Who's gritty? I don't even know this one. This is a hockey mascot. This is the Flyers mascot. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? That's adorable. That's actually fucking adorable.